Hey folks, it's me Nabil from Auto Repair Champs. Um, I've got 2010 Mercedes E550, and I believe this is the formatic model. It is formatic, and today I'm going to show you how you fix uh, a cigarette lighter on this vehicle. The cigarette lighter on the front doesn't work. This right here doesn't work. And I use something like this, folks, to test um, if, if the cigarette lighter works or not. And basically, this is just a simple USB port uh, cigarette fuse that's got a light in the middle here. And I use this for testing. And um, as you can see, there is no light. This light is not flashing. It should be flashing. I'm going to show you where, how, how and where you can locate the fuse for this cigarette lighter. A lot of people get this confused with the front in the hood or under the panel by the driver's side. Uh, I've already looked on the fuse side, on the driver's side in the hood here. There's nothing about the cigarette lighter. And I did not believe it was under the driver uh, uh, panel either so if you want to find that fuse you need to go all the way in the back and remove this cover right here this cover is just covering this fuse box and i used just a fuse tester and it's a little tricky because a lot of these uh, fuses are the same color and there is no diagram on here that tells you which one is the cigarette lighter so i had to do some swapping and what we are looking at it's going to be you know Anytime you deal with cigarette lighter uh, issues, it's always going to be an amp 10 or 15 in most cases. Um, 10 or 15. I did not think it was the fifth one. And based on my diagnostic and testing, as you can see, my fuse tester is lighting up. Now, the, the, the suspicious two fuses was uh, the second one and the third one here. And those did not flash up either. So... I had to pull those two, and that's what I found out. If we pull the first one, that fuse looks good. We're going to set it aside. If we pull the second one, the fuse is blown. So a way to test this, what I did, uh, I grabbed this good fuse, put it on the third slot here, Okay, and I left this blown one out that's going to the second place. And I went back to the car and I'm gonna plug in my uh, fuse tester here and see. Just looking for my fuse tester here. I don't know where I put it. Yeah, right there. And, <clears throat> and if we just put the ignition on. And there you go, guys. It's uh, start flashing, and that's uh, that's a plus. So, long story short, we're gonna reach out to my fuse panel here and see if we can find a fuse that is a 15. And sure enough, I got one right here, brand new one, uh, good fuse, and it says 15 on it. So we're gonna take this good fuse and plug it in to that one that was blown. And I'm not sure what the second this this fuse is used for, but I believe it may be for the rare cigarette lighter uh, switch. But at this point, we're just not gonna worry about it. Long story short, this is the bad fuse. We replaced the fuse, problem is fixed. Thanks for, thanks for watching, appreciate it, and uh, please comment feedback or any feedback is uh, much appreciated in our channel. Thanks.